Hi, welcome back to Come With Go. This is Mr. Go. Tonight, we're going to take a look at um, naming alkenes. And I have two examples over here, and we're going to go ahead and put attachments to them as well and see what the names of those would be. Let's take a look at this first one. Um, if you don't know what the shorthand drawing it means, actually, this is a carbon right there. And each one of these corners is a carbon. The end carbons are... In, uh, N carbons, and these are internal carbons right here, right here, and because those are internal carbons, they have probably a CH2, but since there's a double bond at this location right here, this carbon will only have one hydrogen right here, and this carbon will have two hydrogens attached this way. So what would be the name of this compound? Well, we still have four carbons, so this is still uh, considered a butane, but since we now have a double bond right here, we get rid of this A, okay, and then we put an E and E, and then we call it a butene. So that's the name of the structure, is butene. Now, because the double bond extends from the first carbon to the second carbon, we actually have to name this, or use a number, to identify where the double bond would be. Uh, and the reason why is because, and we'll name this, obviously this will be carbon number one, going from carbon number one to carbon number two, so that's why it's called 1-butene. The reason why we need to do that is because this compound down here is also butene. But the difference is now that the double bond extends from the second to the third carbon. So this, again, is still butene. But since the carbon-carbon uh, the, the carbon -carbon double bond right here starts at carbon number 2 on the chain, this is now called 2-butene. And the physical and chemical properties of 1 and 2-butene are very similar, but there are some differences um, with boiling point, melting point, and so forth. So now let's take a look at maybe some attachments to these. What would this structure be called if we put an attachment to the chain. So let's stick with the 2-butene right here. And let's put a methyl group right here up on top. So what would be the name of this molecule? Well, it would still be 2-butene, but now we would also identify that this methyl group is on the second carbon. So this would be 2-methyl, 2-butene. And note that the number for the double bond still stays right there, but then I also have to identify that the methyl attachment is on the second carbon. Uh, let's take a look at another one. Okay. What if we have a similar molecule? We'll stick with the 2-butene right here. And then we have a halide, which is a chlorine in this case. Uh, the same thing would apply, the same rules would apply. This will still be a 2-butene. But now we put 2-chloro, 2 bt. All right, uh, and I think I, you guys would understand at this point, I'll be giving you some additional examples in class, and uh, we'll take a look at uh, some additional um, sort of attachments to these chains, and we'll take a look at how those um, uh, you know, change the uh, structure of the uh, name of the molecule as we... Uh, go into additional functional groups. All right, I'll see you in class.